always start from those lines. Do you want to do this business? Do you really want to do this? Or is your objection a polite way of saying you are not interested? Then you handle the order, right? So I don't have time. I don't have time. When you are faced with the objection, I don't have time. How do you handle the I don't time, have time objection? You may want to say something like this. Mr. Tunde, when you say you don't have time, how do you mean? When you say you don't have time, how do you mean? Just you I don't have time, I'm busy, I am at work, I am this, I am that, I am that. You want to let him finish. Never speak when your prospect is speaking. When he's done speaking, what do you say next? Mr. Tunde, what you are telling me now is that you don't have the time to use, the, to use this business as a tool towards attaining the dream life that you are truly worthy of. Is that what you're saying? Say, no, I'm not saying that, blah, blah, blah. It's just that I don't have the time, blah, blah, blah. What do you say next? In the words of Matt Morris, Mr. Tunde, do you want to do this business? He says, yes. Do you really want to do this business? Or is just saying I don't have time? A polite way of saying you don't want to do the business. Because either way, we're okay with it. I don't have the time. No, it's not that. I don't, it's not that. I want to do the deal, but I don't have the time. Blah 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 blah. What do you do next? How would you like to never say that? How would you like to never use time as an excuse? Right? You can go ahead, Juliet or Tunde, whatever his name is. In a day, there are twenty-four hours. If you spend eight hours at work, I didn't tamper with your eight hours. Your working hours, eight hours. You spend eight hours sleeping. That means you slept for eight hours. You worked for eight hours. These are the most basic thing people do. You still have eight hours left, Juliet, to chase your dream. Will you agree with me, Juliet, that it's really not about having time, but about setting out time from your free time to build your dream? Will you agree with me? Because Ota, this should be a topic of conversation. Okay, how do you expand the conversation? Okay, Tunde or Juliet, whatever the person's name is. Now, let's assume you work very hard. You work for 10 hours every day, right? And then you sleep eight hours every day. The doctor said we should sleep eight hours in a day. I know most people don't sleep eight hours. I mean, if you're sleeping eight hours, what are you doing? That's one third of your life. If you sleep eight hours a day, you sleep for one third of your life, right? So you, you, you sleep eight hours, you, you work for 10 hours, that is 18 hours. You still have, what, four, um, 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 six hours left to chase your dream. Let's say you pray very hard. You pray for two hours every day. And you spend two hours on traffic every day. That leaves you with two hours to chase your dreams. So you see, Julius, let's be sincere to ourselves. Let's tell ourselves that the fact is that it is about making the time and not having the time. We all have the time. But if you decide to make the time for your financial freedom, you can still access it, right? Next, you want to close him down. Julius, if I could show you our six months plan to increasing your cash flow by 300% without interfering with your current job, and with just one hour per day of your time, would you be interested in taking a look? It's a very powerful question. If I, would you? Remember that from Eric Wally. If I could show you our six months plan to increase your cash flow by 300% without interfering with your current job, and with just one hour per day, would you be interested? If I, he says, yes, 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 I'll be interested, I'll be interested. Now, what some people do is that the moment after they have they've said this, they are not asking the president to come and pay. No, no, that's not how it's done. You said, if I could show you, you said, if I do my own part, would you do your own part, right? <coughs> some people, after saying this, something like this, they go straight up to ask me to pay. That's not right. So do your own part. If I could show you our six months plan to increase your cash flow by 300%, we don't want to put a figure because you don't know what the person's dream is. The man could be doing one, one million dollars a month. You can't tell him to you, by increasing your, by, by adding another 500,000. No, the man wants to increase his income. So 300% means you can move to 3 million naira without interfering with your current job. You make it very clear, without interfering with your current job, with your current business. And with just one hour per day of your time, would you be interested in taking it? What does the guy say? Yes, yes, I'll be interested. I'm interested. I'm interested in it. What do you do next? What do you do next? Very simple. You bring out our standard method of operation checklist, the SMO checklist. You show him how we can do this with him over the next five weeks. He sees that we are going to be the ones doing most of the things with him. In week one, we're going to do this with you, this, 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 this. In week two, week three, week four, week five. At the end of five weeks, you would have gotten five people to connect to your business through the system. The moment any one of them connects, we are doing the same thing with him to generate his own five. The moment that person connects, we're doing the same thing with him to generate the own five. At the end of six, look at what your business is. What are you going to show him next? Next, you're going to show him our six months 
cash flow plan. I will show you that at the end of, the, of this brief program. Our six months cash flow plan, you're going to show him. <coughs> so he sees the SMO checklist, which is the activity. <coughs> he sees they're not difficult to do. And then he sees the cash flow available to him with six million. He sees the cash flow available to him at 50% success. He sees the cash flow available to him at 20% success. Then it is at that point you can now invite him to get started by simply saying, it's a prospect. You said if I can show you a six months plan to increasing your cash flow, your income by 300% without interfering with your current job, I will just one hour of your time every day. You're going to, you, you'll be interested in taking the second look. I have shown you this. This is how it works. Why don't you get started right away? Why don't you get started right away? Or you might ask him, what are the next steps we need to take towards getting you started right away? Immediately you say that, you bring the interest form, you are putting his name on the interest form, you are filling out the interest form, you are asking which of the packages will you get to get started right away, you take the package, you, you begin to as you do what we call the assumptive close. You assume that this person is already in. Let him be the one to interrupt you and say, no, 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 I'm not ready to get started right now. Then it means there's another objection you need to handle, right? So like I said, all you need to do is to become a consultant. From all I've said, you need to study it. And then with that, you learn how to handle the time. What people need to understand is that everybody, nobody has the time. But when they break down the 24 hours for them and they see it, and you are only asking for one hour daily, they can produce that one hour daily, right? Yes, not everybody is going to flow like this way. Not everybody is going to do it. Not everybody is going to, if some people will claim they never have any time left. The truth is this, most people have the time for any other thing, but they are not going to put the time to run the business. They have the time for Telemundo and z -World. The time for Arsenal and Manu, the time for Mkobi and Isiyahu, your job is to extract one hour from their free time. So sit down with them and examine how their day looks like, their typical day looks like, and then extract one hour and get them to make the commitment to put in their activity in that one hour over the next six months and build their business. That is how you handle the I don't have time professional. When somebody tells you I don't have money, what do you say? Remember what we said initially. You want to rephrase the objection back in a question. Mr. John, when you say you don't have the money, what do you, how do you mean? I don't have money, Mr. I don't have money now. Mr. I don't have the money to join the business, blah, 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 whatever he says. You want to rephrase it, Mr. John or Mr. Tunde or Mr. Prospect, Mr. Prospect. What you are telling me now, I'm trying to get, you know, figure, I mean, um, get my head around it. You are saying you don't have the money to start up this business, which is proven to give you the good life that you are truly worthy of. Am I correct? Is that what you're saying? Today, you know, you're not putting like that, but then the truth is I don't have any money to start the business. You see me here, I don't have shishi, blah, 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 right? Whatever he says. The next step, Mr. Prospect, do you want to do this business? Say, yes, I want to do the business, but I don't have, I don't have money to do the business. Mr. Prospect, do you really want to do this business? Or is your saying, I don't have money, a polite way of saying you're not in it? He says, I don't have the money now. That's the only thing. Just I don't have the money to do the business. Fine, that's fine. It's all right. No pressure, no pressure, right? They move, Mr. Prospect. Let's say I'm your brother and I drop unconscious. And the doctor tells you that if you don't produce 50000 dollars for my surgery within 24 hours, I will die. Mr. Prospect, will you let me die? Let the prospect answer. He says, no, I will not let you die, blah, 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 blah. Why would you let me die? And because you're my brother now, say, no, that's not the correct answer. Why would you let me die? Say, because blood is thicker than water. No, that's not the correct answer. Why would you let me die? Whatever he says. You ask him, okay, before you ask him that, you want to ask him, what will you do to save me, right? He went to tell you he will not let you die. Ask him, what will you do to save me? He'll tell you, I'm going to run around, I'm going to run around, I'm going to borrow, I'm going to do this to raise the money. Say, great. So why would you let me die? Because you're my brother, because of this, I tell them that's not the correct answer. The correct answer is urgency, because the situation is urgent. If the doctor has told you that within six years, I will die in six years' time, if I don't do the surgery in six years, will you be in a hurry to look for 50,000 naira now, now, now? The answer is no, you won't be in a hurry because you have the time. But now you have been giving 24 hours, it means you don't have the time. You are going to move heaven and earth to make sure I survive, right? The watch world there is what urgency. The truth is this, most people don't declare a state of emergency on their bank account. They are casual with their bank account balance. So they're not bothered. They have been, they have been going through cash flow challenges for the last five, 10 years. They are used to their money problem. Their money problem is used to them. <coughs> when you use those, when you speak to your prospect, use the term most people. Don't finger him and say he's the one. You generalize it, most people, right? So if you declare a state of emergency on your bank account, 
just like you will do when you see that I will, I will need to, you will need to raise the money in 24 hours, you will raise the money. If you can raise the money for my surgery, you can raise the money for the business. It is all about making a decision to get the money. It's all about making a decision to get the money, right? Now, before you go to conclude, you might, your job as a consultant is to help him see solutions, not just speak lofty English and you disappear. Help him see solutions. What are possible solutions that you can offer him? It's a prospect. Now, there are so many ways you can start the business, but don't start thinking about the bigger packages now that you don't have money. Let's look at the smallest package. The smallest package is 49,999 Naira. Let's say call it 50,000 Naira. That's the smallest package. You can actually borrow 10,000 Naira from five of your friends, making 50,000 Naira. You can borrow 20,000 Naira from two people, 10,000 Naira from one person, making 50,000 Naira. You can borrow 25,000 Naira from two people, making 50,000 Naira. I'm showing you options. You can look for three apps that borrow money to, that lend money to people. And you collect 20, 20, 20 from each of those apps, making 60,000 Naira and get started. It's a business. Now, you some people might say, I don't like to borrow money. I don't want to borrow money to blah, blah, blah. I don't like borrowing money. No. Poor men borrow money to spend on themselves. Rich men borrow money to do business, right? You are borrowing the money to set up a cash flow stream that will pay you way more than 60000 naira. So why not go in and collect the money and use that to start the business, put 50000 naira into the business, put 10000 naira airtime into your phone, and make the calls. Do your business like your life dependent on it. And guess what? You will be able to start business and create the result that you do. So, Mr. Prospect, if I could show you our six months plan to increase your cash flow by 300% over the next couple of months, would you be ready to get started? The guy says yes. When he says yes, what do you do? You bring out the SMO checklist, you show him our six months plan again, but you do it with him. When you do this, you call him to pay right away. So, Mr. Prospect, based on all the information you've gathered, what is the next step towards getting you started right away? You bring out the interest form, you write his name on the interest form, you start filling everywhere, you ask him which of the packages you would like to start right away, you take the package, you are assuming the clothes. You're not going to sit down there and you're waiting for him to tell you what to do. You assume the clothes and you go for the kill.